When liquid nitrogen is mixed with water, a cloud forms. In some cases, such as what you are seeing here, the cloud is formed in a calm and peaceful manner. In other cases, the cloud forms violently, shooting several feet into the air. I have conducted this experiment a whole bunch of times, and it leaves me with a lot of questions. First, why does a cloud form in the first place? Second, why does the cloud sometimes form calmly and other times violently? We'll explore these questions and others like them in this video. A cloud is made of very tiny droplets of water, and the cloud formed in this experiment is no different. When liquid nitrogen is mixed with water, the cloud produced comes from the very water that is mixed with the liquid nitrogen. That's right. In the experiment you are viewing here, the water in the cloud is coming from the water in the pool. We can do a simple experiment to show this is the case. First, I'll place some water on the balance, and we notice it has a mass of 81.08 grams. Now I'll add some liquid nitrogen and we'll see what happens. We see that the mass goes up due to the addition of liquid nitrogen to the cup. We clearly see cloud formation, and we notice that the cloud escapes the cup as it forms. Now if the water in the cloud is coming from the water in the cup, then we would expect the mass of the assembly to drop to less than 81.08 grams, and that's exactly what we observe. This is good experimental evidence that much of the water in the cloud comes from the water that mixes with the liquid nitrogen. Let's see if we can learn more by watching liquid nitrogen being splashed onto water in slow motion. The water has been colored green so we can see it more easily. It looks like a thin wispy cloud is being formed well above the surface of the water. This thin mist arises from the interaction of the cold liquid nitrogen with water vapor in the air. Wow, but look what happens when the liquid nitrogen hits the surface of the water. It's easy to see that a much thicker cloud is formed when the liquid nitrogen strikes the liquid water. It appears that a cloud is formed at the interface between the liquid nitrogen and the liquid water. You can even see this happening beneath the surface. Some of the bubbles formed beneath the surface already have a white cloud inside them. You can also see that as these bubbles rise to the surface, they empty their cloudy contents pushing them high above the surface of the water. I have noticed that the cloud tends to form calmly when liquid nitrogen is poured onto liquid water, such as what you are viewing here. Remember, the cloud forms at the interface between these two liquids, and in this case, the surface area contact between the two liquids is relatively low. This translates into a slow and calm formation of the cloud. It is possible to get a cloud to form in a somewhat explosive fashion when pouring liquid nitrogen onto liquid water. The key is to try to maximize surface contact between the two liquids. You'll notice in this case I didn't gently pour the liquid nitrogen, rather I hurled it onto the water surface. By doing so a lot of bubbles were able to form and that allowed for a lot of contact between the two liquids. Now we're going to try this experiment the other way around. We'll pour some hot liquid water, which is colored green, into liquid nitrogen, which is found in the bottom of this cup. Oh wow, in this case the formation of the cloud is rapid and violent. Notice how the water is broken into many tiny pieces in this case. This more rapid cloud formation probably occurs because of increased surface contact between the two liquids. We know that the liquid nitrogen boils when the water is added. As it boils, it must push up through the water to escape. And as it does so, we clearly notice that it breaks the water into many tiny droplets. Of course, breaking the water into tiny droplets vastly increases the surface area of the water, allowing for much greater opportunity for contact between the two substances. This results in a more rapid and violent formation of the cloud. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the interaction between liquid nitrogen and water as much as I have. It truly is a beautiful experiment. 
If you have any suggestions for experiments you think I should try, I'd love to hear your ideas in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.